Welcome to Q&A on Don't Puck With Media. Hey, everybody. I'm Rick. That's Harry. And I'm Harry. Wel- welcome to Don't Puck With Media's Q&A, where you can ask us, if there's anybody here, any questions you want. doesn't matter what it's about, hockey, other sports, life, uh, this. I mean, just keep it like in reason. Yeah. Harry's adjusting his head. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so if you are here and it says nobody's here, so I know we're going to talk a bit, I guess, amongst ourselves no. and people will watch this on the uh, replay. How about this? Until people question us, we'll question each other. I, I don't have anything prepped. <laughs> I, I don't either. <laughs> I'll admit that. We'll try to come up. Well, first we'll see. Uh, uh, Guru, Guru's here. Uh, Oh, hey. now there's two people here. Oh, look at that. Two people here. Hey, hey. Guru. How's it going, boys? There's our first question. Yeah, yeah. How's it going, Usual. Harry? It's going pretty good, Guru and Rick, because you technically you asked it as well. It's going pretty good. I had a wonderful, wonderful day. A lot of production on some videos getting made. Thank you nice. guys for asking. Rick, how are you doing? I uh, wish I could say the same thing about the videos getting made. Although that time <laughs> of the year is coming up, though, soon. Because, I mean, yeah, uh, what are we today? The tw- the 22nd. So less than yeah. a month away from the end of the season. So there's oh, yeah. that. Um, yeah, I'm getting uh, uh, mentally prepared. La mental. Okay, guys? <laughs> I'm getting mentally prepared to, uh, yeah, start doing videos again. I don't know if I remember how. So I don't know. I've only done, I think, a handful of videos all season. Uh, it's just been live streams pretty much. So, yeah, yeah. off-season brings uh, brings the videos again. So we got Matt. Yep. Matt's here. Look at that. Can't come in and do the show with us, though. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lane Hudson is too nasty because he had a, this huge goal. Uh, y'all, he says, y'all go peep his goal in tonight's game. Joe Hello. is here. Joe from the future. How's it going, Joe? And uh, Clifford Reynolds, that's one of your guys, eh? Hey, yes, it is. Hey, Clifford. Clifford, welcome in, Clifford. I uh, thought that this oh, – wait, I thought the game last night was going to be closer. What do you think? Well, the refs made sure that it wasn't. Plus, uh, yeah. <laughs> plus, they couldn't score. But, I mean, the refs – the the refs. I, I don't I don't know what else to say, but the refs. I could say the fucking refs, and a lot of other bad <laughs> words. Uh, but yeah, I think the refs really. Um, you know, the last two games have been. Yeah, I mean, blatant, blatantly corrupt. As a matter of fact, I tried to get <laughs> funny story. So I was telling, uh, I told you, I tried to get the other guys in, so in the chat. Yeah. So they're talking about something, and I, I, I thought, you know, I should do a sin bin because they weren't doing one this week. So I should do, we should do a sin bin. I should be on, and we'll take the refs and the corruption and the gambling. But they wouldn't take me up on that. <laughs> so I guess reluctantly, <laughs> they somewhat agree with me. You don't. Oh, I mean, you don't. I know you don't. We could no, probably yes, do do. But I can't fight with you. Like, I don't think I could argue with you in a like, yeah, like I, I can with the other guys. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, yeah, we can't we can't be like, oh, let me talk. Yeah, it's just like, oh yeah, you respectfully like, oh, you talk yeah. to the point, I talk by. It's like, oh, okay. It would be too respectful, <laughs> I think, if we tried to do a exactly. on that. You know? Exactly. Yeah. But with the other two, yeah, I could do one. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. think anyway, we could try one day if we hey, we might then have maybe. a subject where we really both don't agree with each other. Yeah, yeah, maybe. I think so. Then we'll do our use our acting skills and just go at each other. <laughs> Not in that way. I know I know you're all thinking the wrong thing. I didn't mean it that way. If that's Dirty the way we're talking, I'm out of here, Rick. You're on your own for the QA. Dirty minded people, I'm telling you. Uh <laughs> Do nothing for the Terriers. All right, the little dogs are winning. Uh, that's the Boston nice. game, uh, college, uh, the uh, Lane yep. Hudson game. Yep. Guru still in Vancouver. Nice. Uh, wished for a Habs win, but okay with the experience of seeing an NHL game. Was oh, that your first game, Guru? Um, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, no, no, not. I mean, not really. Not everybody. You know what? When I was growing up, yeah. 
Like basically, like you didn't, you never saw a game. Like, like really, nowadays it's mm-hmm. not like it's not as big as yeah. it was. At least here in Montreal, I'm going to just say you're talking for Montreal. Yeah, not like it was it uh, here when I was growing up and when I started working and everything. Like, yeah, we were a buzz with hockey talk. I was a courier. I'd go <laughs> to different offices. You'd hear people talking hockey all over the place. Now it's rare. I think anyway. I think we lost Harry. Oh, my nope. camera's gone. I th- can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. You know, your camera's on. I see you. Okay. Oh, there you go. That was weird. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You're just you're freezing up again. It's that freezing thing. I think. Yeah, it's uh, it sucks. I can't use my uh I can't go on my phone because my dad is like almost at its max as well for the month. Oh, well, that's what I was talking about the last time I asked you about that. <laughs> yeah, it'll use up yeah, all your... Yeah, fortunately, so I, can't, I can't do that, yeah. Yeah, it'll use up all your, all your memory, well, gigs, all your gigs. All right, uh, Joe says there were two highlights. Slaps goal by uh, Cole Caulfield's assist and Cole Caulfield bumping Pedersen. Bumping, I don't remember. Yeah, I saw... I don't remember. Oh, it's, it was... It was a big highlight on uh, on Twitter today because they showed a different angle of it. Bumps into Pedersen and basically like throws him against the boards. It was a nice little uh, gritty play. I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. If you find it on, you can find it on Twitter easily. Like everybody's been tweeting it uh, today. Okay, the one I saw what, that they were showing was actually the Gallagher. Gallagher got manhandled and thrown down, no penalty. I saw. I the, mean. Elbow on Gooley, no penalty. That, that yeah, kind of that, stuff I saw. That, that one, I get why it wasn't a penalty because there's no blood and it wasn't initially called a five-minute major, so they unfortunately can't go to the video on that one. That one, I, I I get why there wasn't a penalty. It's just surprising that none of the refs saw that one. That one was surprising. What, the elbow? Yeah, because they came together and they, they discussed uh, what they saw. For the elbow. I don't remember that. Yeah, they had like a little discussion before the the play resumed, and uh, they were just discussing. Okay, did you see the elbow? Did you see the elbow? No. Okay, but just, uh, okay. Here's my really question did. on that. Then the guy that elbowed uh, Gooley was carrying the puck. They didn't have their eyes on that. Fuck off! They didn't. Well, they might not have seen it as an elbow. I oh, think they probably on. did. No, but... Come on, no, no, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying. Yeah, you it. don't have to. I'm not buying what you're selling tonight, there, Harry. <laughs> Seriously though, I mean, they come on. The guy was carrying the puck. He elbows him in the. Your your eyes aren't on that. I mean, Gooley goes back like that, and your eyes aren't on that. No way. There's no goddamn way. No, not buying it. There's, it happens too much. It's kind of like Trump with his. Uh, Everybody's after me. Blah, 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 blah. Every, you know, it's they're like it's like the refs. Oh, we didn't see it. Oh, we didn't see it. Oh, we didn't see it. Fuck you, you didn't see it. That's all I got to say. I think we can both agree with Clifford, though. That third period last night was extremely boring. <laughs> third period was surprisingly calm. From- yeah, especially after what happened with the second with Gulliam and um, not Bluger, uh, who was the one who elbowed him, but uh, but Colson, I think it was. They got engaged in the front. Jack, I was in there. I was expecting a bit more in the third. I was expecting some physicality. Yeah, I thought it would get more heated in the third. And, or yeah. at least Montreal pushed to get that, you know, to get some goals. Push, yeah. push. It never came. Three shots in 20 minutes. Yeah, it never came. The push for... Well, then again, the Canucks only had a seven as well. So it was a very, very low shot on both sides. Yeah, it was a weird third period from what was essentially a good first two periods. I mean, yeah, overall. It was a good game. Yeah. yeah, and then yeah, third period. Yeah, that cool. third, I was like, hey, you know what? Yeah, you guys can go home. You guys can go home. Yeah, no, we're just gonna go through the motions here, and uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Guru says the Vancouver fans around them uh, were sick of hearing me at the game. I shut them up with, "How many cups did the Canucks won?" They were humbled for the most part. Yeah, how many have they won? Uh, let me see. Zero, zero. Guru, you didn't even have to waste that much breath. You literally could have just said 2011, and that would have shut them up. Yeah, or 2012. I was I was rooting for the Canucks then. 
to beat Boston. Oh, yeah, I think, I think oh, most God. people were. I think most people were, but uh, yeah, yeah, to no. beat Boston for sure. Yeah. But hey, you know what? Boston, Boston got humiliated in 2013, so that was fun to see. Was that Canucks signed what in 13, 2013? No, uh, uh, Bruins got just got uh, embarrassed in 2013. Oh, oh, yeah. And then last season, they got embarrassed in the yeah. first round. And uh, so I would say always... they would again this year, but they're probably facing Toronto. So they'll get embarrassed in the second round. Before. Second round. If they're p- yeah. facing Toronto, I'm all Bruins all the time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have no problem with that either. <laughs> No. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I, I, I mean, uh, again, like, like I said, my best friend's a Leafs fan, so I'll be happy if they win. But like, eh, Boston can go to the second round. No, you'll be, you'll be happy in that very insincere kind of way. Yeah, I'm happy for you. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not, I'll be happy for her, but not for the for team. Her. That's that's how I'll put it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, definitely not. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, definitely not. All right, well, we got four people in here. So uh, what we're looking for is questions of all sorts. Mm-hmm. Any kind. We don't care. Just ask us questions. Yeah, doesn't and have we'll to be decide. hockey-related. We'll decide Anything whether, at all. Yeah, we'll decide whether we're answering them. But in general, we'll answer <laughs> everything. But I mean, because you could ask something that, you know, not really going to touch. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, we'll answer everything. Yeah, yeah. Any, anything within reason, as Rick has said in previous streams. Anything within reason. But um, the main point is that you ask questions because, you know, it's an, it's, this is an audience participation type of event. And calling it an event is maybe a little bit too much. Yeah, this is a little, a little too epic for what this is. This is a wee bit. Just a wee bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So we, what was, what's going to happen now is Harry and I are going to sit absolutely still until a question comes. Yeah. Absolutely. Still, we're just gonna stare dead into our cameras until we get until we get questions. Am I doing a good job so far? I think so. Oh, we got something in the. Oh, we got a question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Joe, Joe, good question. Absolutely, yes. Pineapple on pizza is good. Not like not on any pizza. For me, it's got to be like uh, certain types of you know things on it. But pineapple on pizza, big thumbs up for me. Um, uh, I mean, I, I, I'm part of a democracy. I'm, I'm going to say, if you want pineapple, no, pizza, wait, wait, go wait, for wait. It. Harry's going to say, I never had pineapple. <laughs> I've never had pineapple, and I've never had pizza, so I can't answer. But no, come on, I was joking, and you're telling me that's true. We have to wait for the answer. He's frozen. Yeah, I, I've never had, I've never had pineapple. I've never had pizza before, and I've never, obviously, I've never had them together then. Okay, I want to ask the next question. Harry, what planet are you really from? Uh, from whatever. I, I, I'd like to know. Um, planet you want yes. to look quickly. Uh, are you an actual human being? Or are I'd you like to robot? think so, yes. Are you AI? No. Harry could be AI. I don't know. I've not met him in person. so I, don't, I, hope, I hope not. I hope I'm not. <laughs> oh, if I'm you were AI and you had uh... consciousness, would you really know like that you're not I, I wonder I I would think in a way maybe uh, I, I would think it depends like on how people around me would be talking I would think if they're like oh you're an AI I think that would probably lend be the first clue you're AI? Exactly, oh, AI. Yeah. yeah no that's, it's just a stupid question I asked anyway a guru says well, Hawaiian think... pizza is Canadian. Hawaiian pizza is Canadian. <laughs> that seems uh, that seems weird. That seems like uh, you're placing it in the weird place. Uh, what I think he really... means is you don't Hawaiian pizza. You don't find that everywhere. It's only in Canada. Pity, mm. Pity. only in Canada. You say? Huh. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. Uh, to be honest with you, um, and uh, uh, maybe not because Joe is in Australia. Joe, do you have Hawaiian pizzas there? <laughs> Pineapple never belongs on a pizza. I see. Joe is wow. the opposite. Well, Joe. Yeah, we've got someone who's pro pizza or pro pineapple on pizza, someone who's against it, and then someone who's just have it if you want. If you don't like it, don't just don't yeah, get well, it. <laughs> I'm for it. Joe's against into the sin bin argument. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, we do no, have to absolutely. Talk about a woman pineapple. for the Simpson, I think eventually that that could be a fun dynamic. Pineapple is good on pizza. I'm sorry <laughs> to say, but it is. Hmm? All right, next question. I do actually have a question for you, Rick, because I even Go though ahead. I know you're more into even though I know you're more into uh, into TV shows than you are movies. There's a movie that that literally came out today as we're um, as we're going live. Any people who are watching this after it might be in theaters, depending on when you're watching this. But uh, when it comes out on uh, digital or Shutter, I know it's going to be on. Uh, have you heard of that movie, Late Night with the Devil? No. It looks it looks really really good. Basically, because really? about... I spent a lot of late nights like that. But <laughs> did they film it? <laughs> they might have <laughs> they might have no but it's uh it's apparently a, a really really good movie it's basically it, it's kind of like what it what it just sounds like there's a, a a live television broadcast that ends up going wrong and the devil ends up uh coming on a on a late night tv show as a, as a result it's apparently a really 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 scary film i've wanted to check it out now uh for a couple a couple weeks I've had a few nights like that. I thought it was a late night with Devil when I was uh, one of my ex girlfriends, but I don't think that's the same thing. Well, let's see if the uh, let's see if uh, what in a nutshell the movie is about describes those nights as well. Uh, Rai, frightful and horrific. Yes, so far so good. <laughs> uh, did it take? Were these nights in 1977? No, it was later. Oh, uh, and. Uh... Not the same movie. <laughs> no, uh, it was part two. Maybe mine was part two. Maybe. <laughs> Coming out next year. In 1983. Wait a minute. Uh, so Joe says, okay, just back on the pizza, that Hawaiian pizza actually did come from Canada. Nice. Okay. Hmm. The reason it is called Hawaiian is due to pineapple giving it a tropical flavor. Really? I really thought it was because of the cheese and the crust. Or is that only Canadian too? I don't know. Just joking there. I'm... Of course. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. How about a nice Hawaiian punch? Okay. Mm. Um, I we're, we're, we need more questions. I have none for Harry. What I gotta come up with some. <laughs> just, you know, when we run out of Oh yeah, actually, I just realized uh on media. Did you ever watch that uh, South Park documentary I told you to Yes, check I did. Out? Yes, I did. Oh, what'd you think of it? It was not what I, I mean, I liked it, obviously, but it wasn't what I thought. It wasn't what I wanted to get out of seeing people in a writer's room. Oh, oh I, 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 I want to say a real writer's room where it's not, because on South Park, obviously, uh, I don't know which yes. one is which, but one of them is the writer. And yeah. he basically writes everything. Yeah, they bounce, they bounce things off then. each other, but it seems like it was it's one guy on South Park that, puts it all together and writes it which which is very very uh shows how much talent that dude has because fucking yeah yeah how many exactly. episodes you, they come out with you know what surprise was the surprise for me though bill Hader was one of the writers in those days yeah yeah i saw that that was I, a I, big I, su surprise yeah. i didn't know that yeah i i remembered hearing that he was a writer but seeing that i was like oh shit yeah he and was a writer. Bill Hader. <laughs> i couldn't believe it yeah yeah, I still need to watch cool. Barry. I don't know if you've uh, seen that. Love yeah, that's Barry, a really good sure. Show. I saw. All of I, I I I started to watch. Um, I think it was season three because I, me and my best friend watched season one. Got out of it. She watched the rest of it. We started season four for some reason, but then it was like, yeah, no, I'm not feeling this. So we we got to go back and rewatch the the entire series. Yeah, though you got to watch from the beginning. Come on. Well, no, it's because she loves season four so much. I was like, hey, you know what? I'm I'll give it a try. Why not? It'll fill me in anyways, and. Thanks well, yeah, then you know what's going what's on. Happening. Otherwise, you don't really know what's going on because season four yeah. could be a little bit weird if you don't really know what's going I, on. I could imagine, yeah. There's yeah. a ton of shows that we have to watch. We still need to watch Mad Men. We need to watch Lost, Barry. There's a ton of shows that we Lost, I, I mean, I saw a lot of it because my ex-wife watched it. Uh, but mm -hmm. And I tried to re-watch it. There's so many episodes, and there's like seven seasons. Like, no, <laughs> yeah. I couldn't get through the first season again and do that. I said no. No. But uh, Mad Men's really good. You can still hear me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, We're back. There. 
But Mad Men's really good. Oh, you you probably like that. And I'm I just watched uh, Suits recently. That was pretty good actually, except for the seven a... seasons that had Meghan Markle. But other than that, no, <laughs> it was good. But the, you know the funny thing is, the two seasons that she left were the best two seasons. Huh. I don't know if that's because of her or not, <laughs> but they were at least. For I mean, me. I don't know. For like, from what I've noticed, it does seem like. Um... When it, whenever like shows have a character or two that leave, it does get better because then they don't have to write for so many characters. They can kind of flesh things out a little more. So I just that think because everyone me. hates her because now with all that stuff that went on after she got married, and from what I understand, she's not a very good person. Um, okay, John Speed, uh, what are my thoughts on the hey. Oilers? Oh, what are my thoughts on the Oilers? Um, <laughs> I mean, considering that we just lost to them in a horrible way that was due to the refs, not really due to the Oilers. They didn't control that. Um, yeah, you know what? I, 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 I don't know. I think, I think I said this before the season started. It was, and I think this might be what's happening. McDa if they're going to do well, McDavid's kind of going to lift that team by the bootstraps and just take them somewhere. And he's playing really well and all that. Maybe that's what's going on now. Um, I kind of feel if they're going to do some damage in the playoffs, a lot, a lot of it's going to be on his back. So mm -hmm. other than that, I mean, you know, they're a good team. Um, I would, for their, for the fans, uh, I don't know what the word I'm looking for. I just hope their goaltending stands up in the playoffs. That I think would be an unknown for playoff goaltending, right? Yeah. Um, other than that, I mean, yeah, I, I don't dislike the Oilers in general. Just I'm pissed off at that game. That wasn't their fault. It was the uh, refs. There you yeah. go. Uh, for a bonus, Harry gets to let you know what he thinks of the Oilers. Uh, John Speed knows what I think of the Oilers because he's, oh, like, okay. he's, he's one of mine. I thought so. Yeah, uh, I don't like the Oilers whatsoever. I think McDavid is massively overrated. I think he's one of the worst captains in the National Hockey League. Uh, I take dry saddle over him tenfold. And, uh, yeah, I, I think that the Oilers – Still have a lot of issues, and if they want to go far in the playoffs, they need everything to click, but it's not going to. They're a second. Yeah, I don't think it's going to click. Best. Yeah, and uh... <laughs> there we go, I don't John. disagree with you about that. That everything's got to click. Um, is yeah. he the worst captain? I don't. I mean, I don't know, but he's definitely not overrated. Ah, skill wise, no, he is great, but in terms of an overall player, he's definitely he's definitely overrated. No, okay, I mean, yeah, okay, but skills wise, this kid is, he's not overrated. I mean, he's got wicked skills. Yeah, he does absolutely. I, I will give him that absolutely. Yeah, I, I will give him that at the very least. Uh, Aiken says, "Dry saddle over McDavid? Come on, man. Some years, yeah. Some year, this year, not though. I mean, by yeah. numbers, if you're looking at the numbers." So. Yeah, I mean, I think Drysaddle just ha I think he has a better work ethic most shifts than McDavid. There was one shift, especially in the Canadians game. The Canadians game, by the way, McDavid was completely um, was completely invisible aside from the goal he scored and then the pass to Drysaddle in overtime. I thought McDavid. There was a couple shifts I noticed him where the Oilers need a back check and he just skate into the zone. He wouldn't be pushing at all. It was like, hmm. wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't key on him, so I, I you know, you're, yeah. I wouldn't disagree, yet, but I didn't key on that. Oh David, shit! Let's go. David Reinbacher just got his uh, just a little bit ago got his first AHL goal. Woo! Nice go. in his very first game, yeah, and that's a for... good sign right there. I think that's a really good yeah. sign that Reinbacher did that. So yeah, Absolutely. good to see. Now I gotta I gotta find this on Twitter because I got to see just the BL just tuned in. He says McDavid overrated. Did I hear that right? Um, yeah, yes, I'm not did. defending. I'm not defending him, but he said it, <laughs> but not with me. <laughs> Let's see. Aiken says I've watched the the Oilers a lot this season, and Drysaddle always looks he's interested. Oh, oh almost uh, never finishes this. He took my uh, challenge. Look at this. Look who's look what's happening Whew. when he gets in I... here. He took my challenge. <laughs> Almost never finishes his checks. McDavid. Uh... Woo! <laughs> yeah, hey, let's go. Oh fuck! <laughs> I like how this. I like how this looks very. Much. All right, no one's listening to me now. 
<laughs> I no, just saw uh, one. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the one. Right now. That's the one. Leave it right there. <laughs> My computer screen just broke. <laughs> and now it's restored. So uh, what made, what brought you in? I don't know. Felt like chilling. Watching a game. Probably because the BU game is over. <laughs> no, it's still going. It's still too. As I joined in, I turned and Lane Hudson went through like three guys, but he lost the puck. Let's go. Oh, uh, by the we way, Matt, have you heard guys. yet? That's a lot. What up, Guru? What up? What up? Have you heard yet? Uh, um, uh, Ryan Bacher with his first career AHL goal. Nice. Yeah, nice steal. He dangled as a two on one, didn't pass, just took the shot. I'm just looking at it on he's Twitter. Good. I mean, he's a good hockey God. player. Oh, yeah, he is, dude. Dude, I see the Hudson goal. I sort of did. He, uh, Matt sent it to me. I sent it. You know, it dude, was... the toe drag was. It was. I'm old. Oh, yeah. Bad eyes, and it was too small. The fender went <laughs> that way. See ya. I didn't really see it well. I have to see small. it when I. I'll see it on Twitter. <laughs> Matt felt Matt guilty. Felt for all those no shows. Yes, Matt felt guilty. Matt doesn't know what guilt is. <laughs> Got to be Jewish to know what guilt is. What's with the Lane Hudson trade talk? It's um idiot. There's no way. Idiot. It's idiot. I, I, no, there is. No, no there is on Twitter. Those people. Oh, they're Colin. idiots. You know, I'm oh, just, yes. they're, they're idiots. Oh, yeah. That's my explanation. It's like I, it's like people talking about trading Jack Eye. It's like people talking about trading Suzuki. They're idiots. Enough said. Next question. Shane the chance makes a three. The only way we're trading Lane Hudson is if you get Noah Dobson and a first round pick minimum. That's the only way you're dealing with Hudson, which yeah, in other words, you, we're not dealing if, with Hudson. It, for an offer that nobody's gonna give. Exactly. If you're getting a dry sidle or or a Kucherov, someone like that, if you're getting a top caliber player, that's the only way you trade Hudson. So, in other words, we're not trading Hudson. Look, um, Look at what Quinn Hughes is doing in Vancouver. You see the points totals. You see what he's doing in Vancouver. That's Lane Hudson's ceiling. Does he reach it? I don't know. But that's his ceiling. If you're wondering what he, it is. He's going to be damn close. That's his ceiling. Does he hit it? We don't know. But you trade that away? I don't think so. Oh, it's going to be close. <laughs> I, I dare say. What's his ceiling? If, you know, people will say, what is his ceiling? I think that is... And you're looking at it there. No, it, it, no, seriously. Think Kale McCarr, think Quinn Hughes. Yeah, those kind of, that it's kind of production. Great. Yeah. Um, let me see. Is there any questions in there? Canucks are huge pretenders, according to John Speed. And they have no playoff experience. Is there anybody on there that has? I mean, that doesn't matter 100%, but I, I sort of agree with you. I don't think they're pretenders, but they got no playoff experience. They might not have a good playoffs because sometimes teams need to, you know, do that if you get into the playoffs, lose, and learn how to win. That's, that happens a lot. So I don't, but I don't know. I don't know if they're pretenders. And Bo got wiped off the board offside. That's not. I, I, I will say, though. I will say I do believe that it depends on who the Canucks match up with entirely. If it's the Golden Knights, I'm iffy. If it's the Predators, Canucks are easily in five. Canucks easily in five. I don't believe in the Predators. No, I agree with you. No, that makes sense what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, that, but I think yeah, but no, but BL like it's for the same for better than both of those guys were in college. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, McCarr played That's... in the same conference. Like, like yeah, BL, it's, if I it's okay, legitimate reasons for those comparisons, that doesn't that also doesn't necessarily mean anything, right? Like BL, guys, Here's the thing as well. I'm oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Here's okay, the thing, BL. Me. Don't worry about it. Just me. If, <laughs> if 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 I had told you, BL, Cal McCarr is having a better career so far than Brian Leach, you wouldn't have believed me. If if I if I had said this before, Kale McCarr plays a game. Now, granted, yeah, you you do have a point. He hasn't played a game, but he is going to be better than both those guys. Like Matt said, Quinn Hughes. I never said he was going to be better, but he's going to be in that same breath. 
Oh, he, he, I think he's going to be well, better than Hughes, know, yeah. but not quite Kel McCarr. I think he's going to be better than Hughes, near Kel McCarr's level, I believe. I, for me, like, yes, Hudson hasn't played a game, but I'm a strong believer. Lane Hudson has all the tools to be a top three defenseman in the National Hockey League, and I think he'll absolutely get to that stage. And by the way, we said that's his ceiling potential. I, I made yep. clear to say that I don't know if they'll hit it, but that's the potential. Yep. For his ceiling. And hell, even if Hudson just becomes a really good third pairing guy, that's good for the pick he was yeah. selected that late I second round. Lane Hudson's that's playing right. in a better hockey east than fucking Kale McCarr did. Yep. Like, exactly. Let's be real here for a second. Uh, John Speed, there's 0% chance Hudson only becomes a Bouchard. He's going to be a good top pairing defenseman. Oh, without a doubt. Actually, I think Aiken makes a good point too. He's going to be Lane Hudson. No, he is good, but I'm. I'm oh, yeah. I, I again, I just say Quinn Hughes, Cam McCarr, because like that's that's his skill set. Yeah, yeah. Now that's his ceiling. That mm-hmm. that's his ceiling there. I think you know. So it's just a matter: does he hit it or not? Well, we won't know for we won't really know for you know three years. But we'll know after three years whether he's going to get there yeah. or not. Yeah. Uh BL. I mean, to be fair. Suzuki is better than Hughes defensively. Suzuki does play a better defensive game than Jack Hughes. So in a way, yes, he is better than Hughes. Is he better? Well, I well, mean, Aiden, you can compare Camel Car and uh, it, they have different absolutely strengths, so. on an SGA level. Absolutely, exactly, exactly. Hughes's thing is more skill and speed and smart AI. AI. I hope he's not AI. Smart vision on the ice. Smart puck I, hockey IQ. Suzuki also has IQ, but he's a lot of a he's a very good two way type kind of guy. He's very much a Patrice Bergeron, as people compared him to before, and a can as well. Like you can compare P- production in the NCAA. You absolutely can compare that. That's like saying, oh, well, you can't compare two players who played in the QMJHL, Alexis Lafreniere and Joshua Waugh. That's like saying you can't compare those two guys. No, of course you can. Absolutely. And sure, while different players develop differently, I think there's nothing that should stop you from saying, hey, well, this guy's Kale, Lane Hudson, this dude's putting up better numbers than Kale McCarr and and uh, and, and Quinn Hughes. Yeah, he could be better than him. Yeah. He could it's be better. The ceiling, the potential is there. Exactly. That's what uh, we're talking about. And John I mean, Speed, I'm talking yes. About potential. <laughs> yes, I'm Derek talking. Ryan is better than McDavid. Yeah, yeah, on potential, Rick. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree. On potential, that's where he is for. I see BL called us out there. He called me out there as the person that said uh, Cole Caulfield would be better than U-Turn. I'll tell you this. I don't know if I said – and I might have because I was – But I, he I was, added I something. I admit it. I was just, you know, putting on a show about this year. But I do think, you know, when we look back at their careers, that we will look back and say Cole was the better goal scorer. You can laugh all you want. Look at Matthews. When Matthews was at, and I want to say he was at 51 goals, I said, I curse him, and he's not going to hit 75. Is he going to hit 75 now? No, because his production went. Why did his production go? Because I cursed him? No. He misses Mitch Marner big time. Oh, yeah. 100% he does. Austin Matthews is a guy that requires players around him, or he is not the same guy. I knew Mc- uh, Mana was out of the lineup. I didn't know yeah. what. I don't know how long, then, but I mean, yeah. I, I cursed him, and he has had like five goals since I cursed him. Yeah. And also, BL, I, I want to point this out. Ceilings, I want to point out his comments. So he said, ceilings are what scouts use to evaluate players. So why were McCarr, Hughes, and Dobson first rounders, and Hudson wasn't? His size. Hudson was five foot seven or five eight when he was drafted. He was five, Dobson, seven, and he's now five foot ten. He's exactly. now at Kyle McCarr and, and BL. When he used his height. And yeah. BL, there are already people who are saying if you're redrafting, knowing that Hudson would grow, which he had a note that said, "I'm I'm gonna grow," a doctor's note, I think. This kid's gonna grow. He's gonna be five uh, ten, five eleven, or whatever. And he's five ten now. He is, yeah. He put if on you're doing a redraft, like, like professional right, media outlets on, are I think saying, pounds of muscle since he got drafted. Yep. And there are guys who are saying. And yeah, this kid's going top five in a redraft. There are prof- uh, scouts who are saying, yeah, in a redraft, this guy's already going top five, top ten at least. So it was a good pick. It was a good pick. It's not pick. even a, a question of, oh, I can go first round. 
Wait a second. What's the Aiken saying? Not for him. What? Oh, he's saying he's saying it's like he's talking about my comparison between Wa and Lafreniere. Yes, they did play in the same queue for one to two years. Yes, but that's the thing. Thing. Joshua put up good numbers the year after Lafreniere did. He put up the same numbers that Lafreniere did when he went first overall. I am saying that Joshua Wall and Lafreniere, you can absolutely compare those guys because you can look at where, where Lafreniere is now and say, oh, in two to three years, maybe that's, yeah. that's where Joshua uh, Wall he, could be a better defensive ability. I think they can absolutely uh, be a similar uh, – they can be compared, absolutely. Yeah, well, of course they can. Why can't you compare anybody in the same era? It's harder different eras, yeah, but I don't see why you can't compare a, somewhat. I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know why we can't do that and compare him with Hud, uh, with uh, McCarr or Quinn Hughes. I mean, Lane know. Hudson also was is the only defenseman to ever win the hockey scoring title. Cam McCarr played yep. in that conference. Just saying. Uh, well, okay. Like, that but- means something. No, but I do. I get the point of just because that's what you just said. There doesn't make him better, and I don't think that's what Matt's saying anyway. But those are the kind of comparisons you make when you're trying to do what we're doing here and predict what a guy's going to be like. And I want to let Matt handle this comment. Aiken, uh, Matt, what do you think of Aiken saying that Hudson's defensive game isn't near the level of the other guys at the same age? No, I mean, look, I've never said that. You know, his defensive game was going to be insanely good. Like, he'll be fine. But, mm-hmm. yeah, defensively, I, ne- I never, ever said he was going to be, you know, a world beater. But it's it's the offense. It's the playmaking. Exactly. Like, he's, like I said, it, it wouldn't shock me at all if we're talking about him in that same breath with guys like Quinn Hughes, yep. Kel McCarr, Adam Fox. Like, Adam, yeah. Also, that defensive game is just ridiculous. Like that defensive yeah. game can be improved. It's not ready. I think under under so. Coach Marty, he like I said, he's, and I, and I never said he was going to be as good a defender as as like a a, a Quinn Hughes even or or a Kale McCarr. I never said that. Nor would I ever. No. But offensively, in terms of playmaking, in terms of of no. production, I mean, he's going to be right there. Okay, so deal with this one. Mini Menez says Hudson is the most overrated player ever. Uh, clearly, this still dude, watch clearly, clearly, he hasn't heard of Mikael Bodker, winner of the uh, most uh, unlikely, most likely to succeed um, trophy uh, from for about five straight years for doing nothing. Clearly, he's never heard of Mikael Bodker. Oh, good play. I who Mi- Mikael Bodker? Exactly, Miko Mikael Bodker was a guy who it felt like for five six years back in the the late two thousands, early twenty tens when he first came in, it was like oh. One of these years, he's going to break out, and then he just never did. Or it was like oh, yeah. oh, there's a lot of guys like that come, yeah. Come and gone. Uh, but but like, see, we'll never even him. have a 50 point season, he's just another Eric Johnson. Yeah, I, I don't that that you, you know, you're, yeah, you're, honestly, you're on drugs, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not. Aiken, how the hell are we it. making it hard with our comparisons? We're saying that Hudson is having similar seasons, my guy. Uh, these guys are making. Oh, it hard that explains it. He's a Leafs it. fan. That's why he doesn't know what talent is. Oh my God! Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you want to talk Connor Timmins? You mean the same guy who gets scratched for Timothy Liljegren? Connor Timmins is better than Lane Hudson, and you, my friend, are Special Olympics material. How's that a fur it's, way? It's, uh, I, I, I because think that, that's the only that, way like, to say it. That BU can, core this season is actually better than the Leafs. If you could say what oh, it is. is. That's not even, I'm not joking. That's not wow. a joke. And it's funny. That's saying and that with Cade Weber, like who's rating. never going to be an NHL defenseman. That's saying that with Cade Weber on their blue line. Call us. Uh, how about Nick Robertson? How's Nick Robertson doing? Yeah. Is Wasn't better Nick than Robertson Cole better Come than Cole Caulfield? Yeah. Just a reminder, though, for everybody watching, Nick Robertson is still 18 years old. He's still on Florida? Oh, (laughs) yeah, he's still on Florida. That's like the most asinine thing I've ever heard. Connor Timmons is better than Lane Hudson. Wow. Uh, Last time I checked, Mini Minds, uh, pretty sure the Canucks are the second best team in the NHL, I'm pretty sure. 
Leafs are the best team in oh. Canada. Appa- apparently, some guy named Coffield will never score fifty goals. I agree. Coffield will never score uh, fifty goals because there's no player. Coffield. Yeah, I, that, he he doesn't not even do anything. Yeah. Yeah, Coffield yeah, literally Winnipeg can't or, score fifty goals because he's Canucks are better than the Leafs. Winnipeg's better than the Leafs. Dude, Edmonton's dude. better than the Leafs. <laughs> Mini mine. Dick dude. is better than the Leafs. <laughs> How's that? Mini, mini mine. The Senators have been out of the playoffs since like November, and they have a better chance at winning the cup than the Leafs do. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the first round, everybody. And yeah. you know what? We wouldn't be talking to you like this if you wouldn't be that ridiculous. Exactly. If you had come in and said, hey, I think Lane Hudson's a little overrated. He'll be a top four guy, but he's not going to be, you know, top two like you guys think. We respect that opinion. You know, we would think that you're wrong, but we would respect the opinion and we'd have a yeah. discussion. But when you come out you with know? Connor Timmons is better than Lane Hudson. Exactly. Nobody's going to respect your opinion ever. A, a guy who is. We're going to uh, sweep Boston round one. Okay. <laughs> this guy's just a troll. Oh, 100%. He's just right. trying to get our goat. That's it. But but that's how you get people engaged. You gotta you gotta yeah, engage no, no, he's get the troll. watch time up. That's what we're trying to do. He's just a troll because I don't believe that any real Bo- uh, Leaf fan believes that that they're gonna sweep Boston. They might believe they'll beat Boston. Yes, sweep them. Yeah, yeah no. baby. Because you're all, you're an idiot Rewind. if you go into a series like that uh, with like a big rival of yours and you think you're gonna sweep them. Except when exactly. Montreal uh, gets. In, you know, even though we didn't sweep you, but sort of did at the end there, sort of. I mean, yeah, it was it was that close. It was that close to, to being a sweep. Mm-hmm. No worries, Joe. Anyways, just say things that, you know, aren't outlandish. I don't think any of us are saying outlandish things. Because we could. <clears throat> no. Okay, got really quiet in here. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, uh, um, Lane Hudson was on the ice. BU was on a power play, so you know my my focus was kind of over here, not over here. That bromance, man. <laughs> BU scored on it. <laughs> Go take a cold shower, man, mm-hmm. or don't stand up because I don't want to see the tent pole there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Joe, what have you missed? Uh, honestly, your uh, school when missed? you were nine was was Kale McCarr. Yeah, okay. I mean, technically, everyone does have the ceiling of of, of, of Wayne Gretzky at one point or another. It just nobody really gets there because nobody. So, uh, but wait, Mini M- Menez, what exactly are you trying to sort of sort of brag but not brag about? Please tell us. Uh, that when he was nine, he, he, he had the defensive ability of Kel McCarr, probably. <laughs> All right. Also, uh, I know this isn't uh, NHL, but in the OHL, uh, the Sudbury Wolves are currently up on the Barry Colts 13-4. Uh, to 4. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't see those scores uh, often. No, you don't. <laughs> uh, Dalibor Dvorsky, who was a prospect last year, for those who don't know, uh, he currently has a hat trick, and Quentin Musty uh, has two goals and six points. Two goals and six points. Uh, oh, here's a good uh, question. Slavkovsky is going to break um, Mario Tremblay's 39-point uh, when he was a teenager record. He's now one off of that. Yeah, he's, he's going to do he's it. Got, I, I think there's no. He's no got way. limited games, though. Because he, he turns, does, thir- he only he has turns three, twenty on the thirtieth, so there's I think there's three or four games till then. So that's all he's got. Yeah, let me look. Uh, so we, yeah, we play the Kraken on uh, on the twenty fourth. We play the Avs on the twenty sixth. It's the Flyers on the twentieth. When does he turn turn twenty? On the thirtieth. That night we play the Hurricanes. Actually, yeah, but that night doesn't count because he's already twenty. Yeah. That's going to be fun, though. Um, yeah, I think he can hit it. I think the most likely 
would be the Kraken and the Flyers. I think the Avs would be tough, which means he's going to hit it on that game probably. Probably. But um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I think it's a, it's a, it's a very good chance. I'm not going to say it's 100, percent but I think there is a very good chance based on the teams that we play. He's on that, a six uh, game uh, point streak. Oh yeah, he is. That is true. Yeah, that I think he's going to do it. I think he uh, gets yeah. the two points to pass him too. Absolutely, it's, you can. That's a yeah. new record. I'd like yeah, to see that. I would love to see that too. We don't need Mario Tremblay leading any Canadians records anymore. When you played youth hockey, you played against Zach Benson once, and that that means makes you young. Um, and that means you were compared to Kale McCarr, or your ceiling was <laughs> like what? No, I think he's trying to humble brag. Like, yo, I played against Zach Benson once. I think you're, yeah, that's like a name dropping humble bragging. That's a good way to put it. Exactly. It's like, hey, you never I, made I played DMV, against... so you quit. But how how were you? Your ceiling was Kale McCarr, but you didn't make Junior B. Yeah. I, I think I think his ceiling was Kale McCarr's booger. Oh. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. All the best to you, Mini Minez. Sorry you didn't make it and all yeah. that stuff, but. All right, Australian Ice Hockey League starts on the weekend after Easter. Are you joining the team there? <laughs> no, okay, but, uh, Ice Hockey League. Uh, so what what does that mean, Ice Hockey League? Is that men or is that I, – I don't know because it could be anything. I'll look that up. And after Easter, I guess they, they're different seasons than us. So, Well, they're going, they're going into the fall in, in the yeah. southern hemisphere right now. Oh, it is a uh, Australia's top level men's ice hockey league. It is. That's what I'm asking. If is that what that is? Okay, awesome. Yep. Oh yeah, the games are really good times as well. Like Saturday. Yeah, he, she says most sports Australia in Australia Park. only have games on weekends. That's smart, actually. I think that's actually really good for profits. For what? For profits? For the profits, yeah, to get more people in because like weekends again. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Put a shrimp on the bobby and then yeah, watch. I think that would mean like back to back games every fucking weekend. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joe, for that impression. By the way, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, BL says he had to take his dog out to do exactly what we're doing right here. <laughs> Is that what you're saying, BL? Uh, uh, any of you guys got Hudson being better than Orr yet? Orr? Orr was crap, I, I, man. I mean, I mean, in terms of games played, I think there's a possibility of a car can well, play. games played, yeah. 658 no. played. Bobby Orr I was the I, best. Bobby Orr was the best ever. Yeah, he was pretty good, yeah. He was pretty. He was, he was, he was good for a few years. <laughs> well, uh, Mini Minez, all the best studying business, dude. Like, seriously, yeah. I, I know. Yeah, legit, uh, yeah. No harsh feelings at all. Yeah, definitely. You're already in autumn. It's fall time in Australia. Yeah. Now let me ask you: Australia is the land down under. Where do you fall to? Oh, that's stupid. That was just stupid of me. Or was overrated? No. Now, Mini Menez. Now we're now that's problem there. there. There's a problem there. First of all, you never saw Bobby Orr play. Take it from people who have seen him play. He was the best ever. Yeah, Rick Rick was alive, I think, when... Uh, Aiken, do Tommy me a Morris favor. Do me a favor. Don't call us these guys like you're putting us down, okay? It's very, very... Uh, it's very wrong. Yeah. You know our names. Don't go, oh, I love these guys. Plus, there's one of these guys that's actually a woman. I'm not going to let you take a guess on which one, but uh, there's one of them. <laughs> Rick! <clears throat> what, a woman? Who told you? No, but yeah, don't call us these guys, like... The fuck these guys <laughs> and and BL, don't laugh at that, eh? Well, I mean, BL's laughing at the fact that uh, Mini Minute Mini Menez was, I don't know, but the way you say these guys, it's very, I, it's like I feel insulted. Radio. That's all I'm saying, okay. <laughs> what does SMH mean again? Shaking my head. Okay, shake your head all you want. The fact that you had to put SMH <laughs> kind of lets me know not good things. Mm. <sighs> what am I 
Yeah. How these guys in a gender person in the world does that? I use guys in a gender neutral manner. It's not what I meant. I'm sorry. I maybe I took it wrong. I don't know. But it's a few times I'm seeing that us referred to that way. I don't know. I don't like it. No, I mean I, I certainly get it if he's trying to talk to all of us at once. Like that's that's fine. I'm yeah. Fine. Yeah, if you're doing like a hey guys, yeah, what do you I, think I of this? It. Like, yeah, that's fine. I kind of said I'm probably overreacting. Uh, let's put it this way. I'm overreacting. I'm sorry. Matthews might still get to 70 goals. <laughs> yeah. At this Still point, he's lucky dick. if he gets to 65 without, without Marner. Oh, my dick. I mean, How many has he got right now? Uh, 59, I think, or 58. And how many games they got left? I I actually just looked this up. Let me see if I can get it real quick. Well, and we got 13, so they got something like that, 14 maybe. Yeah, the, uh, the Leafs have... Uh, they've played 67, so they got, I think, 13, 14 left. I, I think 13. That's 15, that's 15 left. I, th- I, th- I think it's 14 then because Matthews is projected to play 81 games because he missed one. Oh, so you know what, it's... though? If he has a hot streak at the end, you're right. He could still get it. But he'd yeah. have to be pretty hot. And he, he really cooled down. I'm telling yeah. you, I jinxed him a month ago, and he's got eight goals in that since then. Yep. Yeah, and plus, like, Matthews, like, right now, he is still on pace for 69 goals. Very nice. Um, For him to get 70, he literally does need to go goal per game. He needs to have 13 goals in the last 13. More than that, actually. He needs Ooh. to have 18 goals in the last uh, 12 games of the year, something like that. How many has he have, got? To get 75. He's got 57. He's on pace for 69 right now. He's only got, so he's only had six goals since I cursed him. My curse yep. worked. It did, dude. It, My it really fucking did. curse worked. The only thing is, I cursed him not to score another goal, but I didn't seriously think that would work. But yeah, no. I seriously uh, brought him down. It's my fault that he's not scoring, and I'm going to take credit for it. Do you guys no, actually believe Cole Caulfield will reach 50 goals in a single season? Absolutely, absolutely. Cole Caulfield will reach 50 goals in a season. Yeah, I think he will. Um, uh, Aiken, I'm not trolling. I cursed him. I forget yeah. when it was. I cursed him when he was at 51 goals. There was a reason. Something happened that night, and I just cursed him and said, you're not scoring mm-hmm. again. Yeah. But he's really drastically slowed down. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not uh, trolling. I don't troll. Yeah. M- Mini Menez, by the way, it's funny. You don't consider he's elite. Cole Caulfield has set career highs in points, and this is being recognized as a down year for him. Yep. What does that tell you about Cole Caulfield? <laughs> Uh, how's Matthew Nice doing? Yeah. Nick Robertson. These guys have been compared to Cole. They don't even match up. Yeah. Depends on the situation. I think Caulfield will definitely Joe. Thank you. I don't Montreal. I don't Montreal won't make the playoffs for the next eight years. Okay. Mini Menez. Uh, I just want you to know um, a Leafs fan coming into a Habs channel. Oh, no, this is not... This is kind of an NHL channel. A subsidiary of a Habs I can't channel. use you. I can't use that on you. A subsidiary of Yo, I like of that Habs comment channel. there. Yeah, I think... I think, And, and this is um, kind of why, I, you know, something that I think differentiates good players from great players is obviously this year, Caulfield's... The shooting's not there. Obviously, he's this is his first year after the shoulder surgery, so... You know, he's still getting used to that, but the fact that he's using his playmaking skills to still affect the game and be very good, and also back-checking and forward-checking very well and relentlessly. And throwing the body, it's apparently. Great. It's great. Like that, I, Yeah, know, Fraser Minton that, is like, not better. For a good play to be great, they got to do more than just one thing. Fraser Minton is better right. than Cole Coffey, or will be, says... Uh... Many Mini well, Menez is going to no. say that Ty Voigt is going to be better than Cole Caulfield. Ty Voigt is at most a third liner in the NHL. He is at Who? most that. Who? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. No, but Ty Voigt. Like, seriously. Last year, as an overager in the OHL, well, he made he the goalie fucking four minutes left. Oh, I like that. Aiken, my guy. Three and a half now. Oh, calm, calm down. Let Caulfield score 30. 
I he don't disagree with him, though. Yeah, you know what, he though? He was on pace for 40. Yeah, I know. But you know what? He's not 100% wrong. Let the kid, Listen, we, we expected a lot more. He got his, He might get 25 this year. He's kind of right. Let him score to be fair, he's still and work struggling his way up the... before we anoint him a 50-goal score. He's if he's probably 30, right. I'm happy with that because he's still going to – he's on pace for like 60-something points right now. Yeah. Yeah, because and when he does hit those numbers with the goals – He'll be a hundred point player that year. Absolutely. Yeah, because he he's be. putting up I mean that playmaking is not gonna go away. No. If he it, starts it scoring, work. that playmaking's not gonna go away. It just means that production is gonna go up completely, you know, like it's gonna yeah. You're right. I when you add a guy like right. Ryan Bacher, a guy like Hudson to the team on the back end to mm-hmm. facilitate the puck more up the ice and quickly. Yeah, there's gonna be some Absolutely. good point production on this. Absolutely. Team. And then, and then you add the offensive depth that we have. It's like, whew, we're gonna be, we're gonna be perfectly fine. We're gonna win a cup before the Leafs do. Also, Aiken, you're a guy that allows things to play out rather than. We believe that Cole Caulfield is gonna hit 50 goals. That's what we're saying. We believe it. I believe it. Yep. Hmm. Uh, Mini Menez, also Alex Gachank will end your fucking bloodline, according to his own words. Galchenyuk will have a... Okay. You know what, Mini Menez? It was, it's been pleasant talking to you. It has been. But have a nice night, buddy. That's... You know what? Ridiculous. If you want to be ridiculous after accusing us of that, then I don't know. I've got nothing to say to you. I did it last year. I'm not changing how I feel about Cole Caulfield. I'm just saying that Aiken is right. Let him get to 30, then 40, then 50. And then, you know, I agree with that. But I do believe he'll do it. Uh, Aiken, it's your opinion. You're allowed it. And and when he does it, he'll, you know, he'll prove you wrong. That's it. But you're allowed your opinion. You know what? Everybody's allowed their opinion. So is Minnie Menez. But we can if if an opinion is that ridiculous, we can call that out. Just like you guys can call me out if you think I'm saying something ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Also, Menez, Galchenyuk, uh, I don't think ever had a 40 goal season. I'm pretty sure the most he hit was 32 uh, 32 one year. Was it 30? It Wasn't up. it 30? I don't think he hit 32. Was it 30 on the nose? Wasn't it? I'm looking it up right now if my data would stop being slow. <laughs> His career high was 30, yep, on the dot. 9, 13, 20, 30, 17, 19, 19, 5, 3, 1, 4, 6, 0. Right. Sounds to me like Caulfield already almost has as many goals as Galchenyuk. Huh? And if he had played out, um, and if Caulfield had played out last year without the soldier surgery, he would have hit 40 easily. So, I, I think so, yeah. Yep. Oh, excuse me. I should actually clarify. The five and the three should be combined because that was a split year where he got traded. So he had eight, actually. Uh, oh, oh, that's huge. Yeah. He's huge. <laughs> yeah. Now, listen, you want to talk, you know, be serious and m- at least make a comparison that makes sense. Galchenyuk? Yeah, exactly. No, like comparing, yeah. Like, Coughlin should be being compared to guys to, uh, to Steve Shutt. He shouldn't be getting compared to... Uh, a bum like Alex Galchenyuk. Hey, he's getting even better with his comments. The next one's a woozy. I will handle this. Um, Minnie <laughs> Minnes, uh, she ahead, said Jared. no. She said, or wait, no. She said no. That's Patrick Kane. Wait, fuck. What am I thinking of? But legitimately, Minnie Minnes, I didn't think Logan May shouldn't be allowed to play. All right. I'm going to say probably not verbatim, but basically what Treek said when we had him on the podcast. By the way, links for that in the description. Uh, Treek Wilson was on the Happy Moments podcast. It's a very good one. Also check out the uh, the uh, the Hugging Around podcast. That's also a very good one. But what Treek Wilson said, people do not understand what happened with Logan Mayu's case. They hear about the basics that he was sentenced to a sexual crime in, I think it was Sweden. And yeah. that... Well, it wasn't oh, yeah. even a sexual crime. It was like defamation. Oh, and yeah, yeah was, exactly. It wasn't even a sex crime. It yep. wasn't rape. Yep. Because yep. I know that's it, what's in your head. Yep. And, and it, it was wasn't. not that at all. It was not that at all. 
he it wasn't even a, the the picture that he took wasn't even when he was sexually engaged top with another of the person. shoulder. Dude. It top was the, the top shoulder. of the shoulder. Yeah, like if I show this, that's what was shown in the photo. Harry, put that away. <laughs> no, but literally, it was like that much. That much could be seen, and that was it. That's what he took a picture of. Sent it, it around. Was and I'm not saying, the picture yep, was consensual. Yep. And I'm not saying that what he did was good. It was stupid. Yes. He shared the picture around to his friends. He got sentenced as a result for for defamation, yeah, which he really is he not. Paid a fine and like look like, and he's proven that that he's he's, he's done everything to asked of him and then yep. like yep. He even he, did some stuff that wasn't fine. even asked of him. I'm pretty sure. And then the the victim came out and said. Yeah, no, I, I, his apology is, is so, is, is completely genuine. I believe him 100%, and I hope the best for him. They both want to move on at this point, and I, I think that, that, that they should both be allowed to. Both Mayu and the victim. Okay, now More this so. is where I don't tolerate it anymore. Take a time out. Think about what you're saying there, Minnie Menez. Come back in. Be, be more sane. You're not going to call my team criminals. Bye. Especially for a team that has uh, uh, Austin Matthews on their team. Right. Yep. Oh, well, what are we going to laugh at now? He's gone for a while. Oh, no. Well, I mean, we can I could show my shoulder again. We can... <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. No. But no, yeah, like, back. that's that's the thing. Like, a lot of, because a lot of people just don't know, like, what exactly happened. What happened with my you. It wasn't a yeah. sex crime. It was defamation because he took a picture yeah. of the girl's shoulder after a Completely sexual hookup, whatever you want to call it, and he just yeah. showed it to his teammates, and he wasn't supposed well, to do that. He was an idiot. He made this is what I'm going to say, and he's if, done everything he's had to do to make amends and be if, better. If this long after all that stuff came out, he wants to come in here and spout that stupidity, and he hasn't not smart enough to go make sure he knows what he's talking about first. Well, then he's an asshole. Well, I mean, That's a lot right. of people still have no, genuinely. Well, then they're no all idea assholes. The, I'll tell them. I have no the problem. Thing. What is in the empty net? That'll do it. Four to one, BU. <coughs> BU see you tomorrow night for the Hockey East Crown. I'll be there. Let's go. Woo. Let's go, BU. Let's go, Lane Hudson. But at the same time, Luke Tuck, I guess. Luke Tuck oh, actually yeah, Luke Tuck. early on. Very good play. Big, strong dude. Ooh. Bullied his way to the net, and he ended up getting held, but. Nice. That's, a good That's what I say no when joke. I think like Luke Tuck could wind up being a, a half decent, uh, like a bottom bottom six type of guy. Like he's so strong and he just yeah. loves powering his way to the net. Yeah, Joe, you, Joe's guess. making some good points there while we're talking. Yes, she is. Um, yeah. And that's you know what I'm going to add to that is the our line one is usually up against the best line on the other team, so yep. the the quality yeah. of the uh of the opposition he's playing against is yeah is is high and, no, that could also and, be and that's just part of learning bit. and part of growing i mean he's only what yeah it's, it's contributing probably a little bit to the yeah. um that's you know true. to the but i think it's the shoulder i really do i think it's just the shoulder has to be regrouped yeah. that shot has to be regrouped that's that's probably what it is but good points there yeah. joe very good points yeah and i'll add as well imagine when we have that second line And working next year, have those two lines, and what's going to come about when Caulfield doesn't need to be playing all his shifts against the top line when he can be playing against the second or third line? Imagine yeah. that first line needing being able to play against other lines, yeah. and that second line is. And and then when that power play is improved, and he's well, putting up good. a few more goals there. I mean, the goals are going to come. I I don't yeah, have any doubt. I've got no about problem it. at all. Why is it lagging? It's yeah. just Harry. It's not all of us. It's Harry. Harry lives in the country, and he's on Wi-Fi, and weather conditions have a lot to do with his signal, and that's all that is. That's all. We'll get him eventually. Yeah, get yeah, plug yeah. In. One of these days. Yeah, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get it eventually. I've still got to figure We're it taking out. taking up a GoFundMe uh, page for that to get Harry plugged <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Improve yeah. Harry's Wi-Fi. Please send us money. Yeah. <laughs> we need $40 for for. for <laughs> For the for the Ethernet. Yeah. <laughs> well, technically I already have 30 because I had a 30 cent of my PayPal. We need ten dollars. 
We need more money. Just keep saying. Never mind how much. Just keep sending it. Just keep yeah, sending, just keep sending it. that money. We'll, we'll, you, we'll, we'll, have, we'll get funding for the shows eventually. Do you think if I come up with a some um, some running shoes that are gold and uh, will they, can I sell them too? <laughs> I, I would think like, so. Do you guys buy my running shoes? <laughs> Just autograph them. Are those games or books? They're not books. Harry doesn't read. He doesn't eat pizza. He doesn't read. Do you want me to go grab my Stephen King novel? Awesome. Stephen King. I love Stephen King. Yeah. I actually do. I think it's a uh, dream catcher. I think that's the one I have. I read that. I read most I of I read most of his up to a certain point and then I, I haven't read yeah, too many you. lately. <laughs> yeah. But uh but Aiken, thank you for the question. Um these are funny enough, it's actually uh the one that you can kind of see, this one, this one, and this one up to this shelf, those are all movies. Bottom two here, those are TV shows. These PS3, PS4 games, Xbox One, 360, and original, that's what uh, those are. Impressive collection, thank you. And he, as he's not telling you this, but I'm going to tell you this. If you pull one of those book and it comes out, and all the porn is back there. He doesn't want to tell you that. It's kind of yeah, like yeah. the old, the old uh, video stores. You know, you go in and they have <laughs> that a special section for the porn. Yeah, you got to show your, uh, you got to show some identification. Yeah, you got to show the ID to get in there. Uh, I funny enough, uh, like when I move in, I've actually considered doing that not for porn, but like to like having a media room and just have like a curtain there where it's like you go in and you get the media. I've considered something like that because I think that'd be fun. Instead of how instead of a door, just get some curtains. But oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I've considered that, but like I said, it's like. It's like, oh, well, people might, might take that as like, oh, you got porn back there. It's like, is it? Yeah, that's where we do the special videos. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, uh, where are we going now? Where were we? Where were we? Oh, Bill's got a question for Matt. <laughs> okay, Matt, you guys getting the dirty weather right now? Dirty weather. Oh, it's fucking cold as ball. Like, literally, oh. like, groundhogs are literally dumb when they produce predict the weather in like early spring my ascii swell but this it is only lasting so cold right now yeah it's yeah but i know snow on sunday but here yeah sunday changes here we're getting 10 centimeters of snow tomorrow apparently yeah so and then sunday Rick, is you above get a few zero. choice words to say to the groundhog <laughs> what but what wait a second what the prediction six weeks no it's no. early early, early spring yeah, it's not early spring. <laughs> yeah, Rick's, no. like, Rick's like, I'm going to go find that what, fucking groundhog that, and wring its neck. <laughs> but, I mean, think about that. You're listening to a groundhog for your weather. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think right there, that's the problem. You need some help. <laughs> that's the problem right there. That technology, very outdated. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you guys seen the picture of like the weather rock? <laughs> it's like rock is hot, sunny. Rock is rock is covered in white powder, snow. Rock is wet, rain. Yeah, that makes sense. Rock is gone, hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's uh, forecasting snow. No, really. Yeah, BL, we're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Same thing, I guess. Uh, yeah. Most of the eastern uh, seaboard and whatever. Is getting uh, snow tomorrow, apparently. Yeah, I know Ontario was getting it bad today, and I think, like you said, we're supposed to. Yeah, get it's coming our way. It, the, but I mean, it's the last of the. I mean, for us here, where BL is, though, they can get this kind of weather for another little while. But for yeah. us here in Quebec, I think we're going to be done with this because the weather's going to be getting better. No, but by by the first of April, we're supposed to be like five to ten during the day. Oh, that's going to be nice. Yeah, I so I mean, that, it's walking. breaking. This is the, this weekend. It'll break, and that that'll be it yeah. for this year for this season. Yeah, it'll be nice. Am I into gaming too? No, I'm I'm not. Uh, Aiken, I'm not a gamer. <laughs> Rick, Rick was into gaming when the Atari Twenty Six Hundred was a thing. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to think which Atari we had an Atari. I'm trying to think which yeah. one it was. <laughs> Although my like I always say my first one was Pong. So, <laughs> yeah. Bouncing up and down, earthquake. Hey, that thing was fast. Okay, 
<laughs> yeah, for the time it was. <laughs> for the time oh, it yeah. was. Yeah. It's like, do you guys ever see that movie Year One? Yeah. Okay, so when they get a uh, first time, they're on the wagon wheels and they're going and they're going like you no know, they're Too and they're much. going, Oh my god, hang on. It's like that. It's yeah. kind of like that. Pong was yeah. like that. Yeah, that was yeah. fast. Okay. One of the few funny jokes in that movie. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. It's one of the I, I hated jokes. fucking year one. That was not a good movie. No. All the jokes, all the good jokes were in the commercial. <laughs> Everything funny about that movie in the commercial. So just watch the commercial, yeah, the trailer yep, it for was like, it, oh, and, then, and you saw the movie. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was literally like, okay, we've got like five good jokes. How do we? Yeah, how do we? How do we make that into ninety minutes? Build a movie around that. It was like, yeah, I was like, <laughs> we got two minutes of funny stuff. We're gonna turn it into ninety minutes. Yeah. 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 And the sad thing is they got a really good cast in that as well. They had a really talented cast. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what yeah. is Sherry Spear there, BL? I never heard of that. Bad for the every bad for everything uh this year. It's gonna be dry like fuck out there. We're supposed to have La Nina, which means next winter will be worse. Next winter we'll have probably a, a pretty cold winter, from what I understand. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because of the uh, La, we're in La Nino right now, and it'll be La Nina because the girl is a bitch. Uh, da, 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 da. Nope, we need more questions because I'm not reading the other ones. No, we're gonna just be uh, quiet here. Quiet. Shh. <laughs> This, like is, I said this earlier, is probably we're... my favorite forecasting stone. <laughs> stone favorite... underwater, flood, pub still open. <laughs> <laughs> what? At the bottom it says stone underwater, flood, and then in parentheses, uh, pub still open. <laughs> well, kind of going to need it open. That's got to be from uh, Ireland. Yes. Or the UK. Or, or UK, yeah. 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 All right. Any more? We got any more? We got about twenty more minutes. Yeah, I think I think we stretch this to an hour and a half. Yeah, twenty more minutes, and then uh, last week we did uh, two hours, but that was a little long. Yeah, yeah. And really, all we were doing is me and you were talking. <laughs> you <know> last <laughs> week, I'd say the last forty-five minutes, it was just you. Yeah. And I. <laughs> well, to be fair, it was a fun conversation. It was. It good, was, it was but, it, but it was like it was just the two of us. <laughs> But a funny, funny thing again with that with year one, a funny thing is that apparently Bill Murray did not want to do Ghostbusters 3 after year one because apparently uh, the guys who writ wrote year one were supposed to write Ghostbusters 3 at one point. I don't remember the third one that well. No, there, there was no Ghostbusters 3. I just saw a, a show, if, speaking of Ghostbusters, um, I just saw there's a show out there. It's on Netflix, I think. And it's, it goes back to all these old iconic movies and how they came about it, all the stuff they did to get the movie out there and all that. Oh, the, the movies that, that made or something? Yeah, the movies that made us. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, pretty yeah. interesting. There were some good movies in there that I was – that yeah, that was interesting. And it's on I keep Netflix. forgetting that's on, that's on Netflix. I keep forgetting that's on Netflix. I got to check yeah. that out. The movies that made us. There's three seasons of it. It's like 20 shows. Oh, so there, yeah, like a bunch of different movies. Nice, very, very interesting. Wow. You're, you're, you're um, not wrong. <laughs> what? Oh no, he's talking about the weather. He's not wrong because he he's out in where is BL in New Brunswick or in Halifax? No, Nova Scotia. <laughs> yeah, Keep Britain. He's right. He's right. <laughs> about, about a day after we get the we get weather here, they get the same thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, but. Matt, who he says Matt knows who Sherry Spear is. Who's that? I have no idea who the hell that is. <laughs> uh, let me look her up. Uh, Sherry Spear. Yeah, I mean, I could do that too. I just, <laughs> I, I'm old. I don't think about doing that. Oh, she's a she's a meteorologist on the Boston Morning News. Oh, Matt should know that. How come you don't know that, Matt? <laughs> I know. I actually one of my best friends from from high school was still pretty good friends now. He's a meteorologist in New Hampshire. Oh. I send him the forecasting stone all the time. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, what are we doing next after this, uh, uh, guys? Uh, nobody's with me tomorrow. Oh, no, tomorrow. Um, uh, Saturday Hockey Talks at 8. Either you guys want to join me? I'm not here. I'm, I'm going to be at the Garden. At the Gardens? What, yeah, for the ho- Hockey's final game. BC oh, versus BU. Oh. Yeah, okay. If you told me about that, I remember. Uh, Harry, you want to? Members. Anyway, Harry, do you, you remember? You wanna... I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember. I remember. I remember. That was good. Um, yeah, and let me know if you if you uh, want to do the Saturday. Ho- By the way, Saturday hockey talk is going to be at night tomorrow. No game tomorrow. So if you're looking oh, yeah. for the Habs to be playing tomorrow, they're not. Uh, but be you in. Time. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Lane Hudson. Yep. Yeah. No, and Jim Saturday Fowler hockey talk. Me. Don't watch oh, that. Yeah, Saturday hockey definitely. talk. Come see me. Not them. <laughs> you, you can watch both at the same time. Use totally legitimate services for. Rick Stream. <laughs> and then Saturday, uh, Sunday, uh, Habs are in Seattle, 9 o'clock start. Monday, right here, right here, Monday, live Pucking Around podcast where we will be giving away, I think, uh, I think two prizes. Ah. So we'll be giving away stuff, and it's a live show. Got to be in the audience to win something. So nice. um, hopefully you'll join us for that. That is Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Hey, nice. All right. Uh, that's it. Far enough. And a Tuesday, Colorado game. And then uh, that's far enough. Far enough in advance for, <laughs> for, for me. Let's see. Uh, Any farther. Which young D do you see progressing to the big leagues next season? Yeah. In camp. Uh, well, May one you? of. Well, one I of. Know. Hudson, Mayu, or Reinbacher, and maybe, maybe all three. Yeah, that would be ideal. I'd like that, but I don't think all three. But no, I think I, very I... good chance two of those three will yep. be breaking camp with Montreal, and the yep. third one will be a uh, regular by the end of that season. Yep, I, I think Reinbacher does get sent down just because we want to take a little bit of time with his development. But I, I think I think there's a good chance that Hudson and Mayu could uh, could break camp. Oh, see, I, I see it as Reinbacher and Hudson. Ooh. Yeah. And I think Mayu uh, okay. by midseason. I think that'd be smart. No, Mayu's going to work on his defense, but. Yeah, I think Mayu by midseason, but defense. I think Hudson and Reinbacher break camp. Hmm. That's my opinion. Uh, BL, I wouldn't give away your car. I got it right here in my drawer, a little dinky. Right here in my drawer. I got it at the Maxi. They sell them two bucks Hot Wheels. Uh, let's see. Final day of regular season in the queue is tomorrow. Really? Regular season in the uh, the junior league? Oh, I guess so, eh? That's right. That makes sense. Yeah, because they're yeah, coming yeah, up no, on playoffs. That, that makes sense. That I don't know why, why I would even be surprised at that. Uh, Aiken doesn't see Logan in his opinion also, uh, b- but he agrees with me. The other two, so there's somebody agrees with. Me. I mean, I, I, honestly, like I, I don't. I think Logan Mayu could use another year of seasoning in the AHL. He's gonna work on his defense. I'm kind I of think sure. by the end of next season, he's up in my. Yeah. yeah, I think the coaches will be able to work with him. I think they've been working it with him. I think he'll he'll. I think the Logan's defensive game is really a non-issue. I think he'll, he'll work on it. It'll be fine. I think I think it'll be good. I don't know that it's a total non-issue. I do get. Oh, no, what no, you're I, mean, I do get what yeah. you're saying, though. Long term, it's it's a, it's not. Yeah, an I mean, issue he's really. he's going to be an offensive defenseman. Exactly. His defense is not okay really defense. right. Defense doesn't have yeah. to be his uh, yeah. his forte. hundred, just like Hudson, it's the same thing. There's no difference. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, he has to have the offense a semblance of. De- some defense. Yes, exactly. You know, that's what I'm saying. So when he's got that and they feel that he's got that, he'll be up and he'll stay. We might draft another D in the top 10. It's no, possible. I can. yeah, don't 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 even go there. That's just the being, only... in my opinion, that's just being negative for no reason. Because Aiken, you didn't like the last couple of picks. I think there's a lot of people out there saying this, and I think that's the reason they're saying it. It's 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 more not sarcasm. What's the word I'm looking for? Nep- uh, not nepotism. That's completely different. No, it's not nepotism. Um, Narco- more, narc- more cynicism. It's more being cynical. What the fuck is I about to say? Narcotics. 
Narcotics. Hey, I'm up for that. <laughs> yeah. Aiken, we're not going best player available. It's already been confirmed by management. We're going with uh, with our need. No, that's not exactly what he said. <clears throat> what he did say was, if their scouts judge whoever is in front of them at that, and that they're all in that same level, best player available, they all they all fit that, then they're going for need. In what okay. other words, what he says is if if they're you know, unless a defenseman is that much higher than yep. everybody, then they're picking a forward. That's what which I think. Which it's which is not gonna happen. I think Demidoff obviously is gonna be there. Obviously, if we get first <coughs> of all, obviously, but there's I think he's gonna be a with, really good forward. Yep. They Demidoff, Aginla, Iserman. There's some guys there that's like yeah, you really <coughs> like okay, there's good defensemen, but <coughs> <laughs> sorry, that went good. down the wrong way. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, nah, don't worry, don't worry. But yeah, no, like, like even though there are good young defensemen, again, like I think if it, if you get a Tejaginla who's going to be an incredible second line forward for the Habs, you if you end up with an Ivan Demidov who could be a good thirty goal scorer, good second line player, I think there's there's fine there. Yeah, they're not taking a defense. Aiken to say De- Demidov won't be there. I mean, it depends on where we fall in the draft lottery and also where we end the season. If we end at third, and plus. Guys, uh, teams will not massively overrate defensemen, but there are teams whose biggest need and best player available will be defensemen. You look, you look at Simon Nemec uh, last year with the Devils. We knew he was going to get picked by the Devils. Shane Wright was technically projected the best player available. They will go defensemen because that's what they need. There's going to be some teams I think that will skip over a winger like Demidoff because, okay, well, winger is the quote-unquote least important um, role on the team, which it technically is in terms of – level of importance, they will go defenseman over winger and even center, I think, to a degree. Demidoff will probably be there at six or seven, depending, <laughs> on, depending on where the Canadians uh, fall. I, I also think part of picking in the top – I'll go Ted. Uh, yeah. You're picking uh, two things. You're picking best player available and need because basically mm-hmm. if they're good, uh, you know, the top five, say, players in, in the draft – uh, their best player available, and then you go, which one do we need? What position do we need? Uh, basically, that's mm-hmm. how it's done. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's a problem with that. Yeah. Aiken, they're, the they're Devils... Not, they're not sorry. picking defensemen. They're, they're not no. picking defensemen. And, and also, Aiken, the Devils weren't at a different stage. Even if they were stacked at the center position, Shane Wright can play the wing. So <laughs> they could have easily picked him for, for being a winger. They easily could have. Also, none of the defensemen rank above uh, anywhere near Demidov. Anton Siliev, as far as I'm concerned, has been ranked very, very close to him. Like, yes, Demidov, he is the consensus number two right now. I think that if you're skipping on Demidov at number two, uh, that you're completely insane unless you are in desperate need of a number one defenseman. But I think Ivan Demidov is is a guy that I would understand if a team needs defense. Ah, But I I kind of agree. I don't think Demidov is going to be there for Montreal. No, no, I, I don't think so. I think it depends on the teams that fall in front of him. If, I think the Sharks might go with a defenseman. I think that, uh, obviously, uh, unless they get first, I'm assuming they're going to get second because it's the Sharks. Nothing good comes to them. True. <laughs> but whoever gets first will go Sil- uh, silly of Celebrini. There we go. Whoever gets two, again, I think it completely depends on who wins the lottery, who ends up finishing where. Uh, what the Canadians, like, what's up? Sorry? Uh, depending on what your needs are, your needs exactly depends on that as well, and and depends on where everyone finishes in the league. The Canadians right now are ranked seventh. There's a chance we could finish fourth because the Coyotes are a point back of us. <coughs> the Rangers are two points back with a game in hand. The Blue Jackets, even though we're probably we're not going to fall below the Blue Jackets, they're four points back of us, and they've played the same amount of games. There's a chance we could finish at fourth, and plus, who's to say we can't trade up? I don't want them to. But who's to say that we can't? There's always that possibility. I, I, I just for me, I think that Aiken, if you're saying Siliev is not in the top two defensive prospects, this year, you are not watching the games. Seventeen or eighteen, whatever he is right now, he is going to be a legitimate number number one, number two defenseman. I don't know. See these guys. Also, I don't know enough about them yet. I don't really delve into yeah. that till. After yeah. the hab season is over, so I don't know enough about them all. 
Le- Levshinov, I'm, I'm, I don't trust uh, Aiken. I don't trust Levshinov. I, if I'm, if I'm going silly, have Dick. Dickinson and then, but I can't see why why you'd be ranking uh, Lev, Levshinov above uh, any of those guys. And also to say that, oh well, Cole Hutz, Cole Eiserman, Cole Hudson, Cole Eiserman is this... good defensively. He lacks a complete game. That fence, that complete game is going to come to him if he has a good character. He's got good scoring ability. For me, I think that I think that the Canadians might consider him depending on where they're drafting. I don't think they're going to just necessarily look at the most well-rounded top prospect because when you drafted Savkovsky, <coughs> the defensive game, you could say there were some questions about. He was not the most well-rounded top prospect because of uh, the uh, amount of hits that he was taking. And two years later, look at how well that's improved already. Look at how much Slavkovsky has improved his game uh, when there was uh, criticism easily from even including myself when we picked him. You know, and he's looked like the smartest pick. The Canadians will not go with the most well-rounded. They will go with the best player available. They will go with uh, the player that fits their needs, and they'll go with someone who will be the best prospect. Like Ken Hughes said after they drafted Slav, they're not going for the best player right now. They're going for the best player in five to six years from after he's drafted. To- <coughs> yeah, but that, the that player who's going to help that moved up. I mean, he's not going to take four or five years to get there. Oh, exactly. Yeah, no, uh, definitely not. Yeah, no. He's getting there quicker than that. Slav, yes, we saw him at the big stage in the World Championships. We saw him play Probably well Rick. against teams like Lafayette. Yeah, no problem, no problem, Rick. We saw him play well against these teams that weren't uh, highly touted. He wasn't putting up the goals against U.S. and Canada the way that he was able to against uh, the lesser teams. So there was that criticism there. There was that criticism there. Uh, and I, I, I'm glad that you were one of the people that liked the pick and it panned out. I'm very happy, and I'm glad that the pick has panned out since then. But there are reasons, there were reasons at the time to not consider Sofkowski the number one overall pick. I'm glad that it's worked out, but there were those reasons. I will trust the management no matter who they go if they end up picking a defenseman or a forward. I will trust them. But I'm just yeah. saying, I'm personally someone who believes they're on either Ivan Demidoff, Tika Ginla, or Cole Eisenman. That's just my personal opinion, though. Ginla, I got this feeling it's a Ginla. Yeah, and I, I'd have no problem with that whatsoever. I'd have no issues there at all. I definitely won't. Um, yeah. to, to, no, okay, that. Yeah. All right, we're gonna oh. end up. I think we're gonna end it here. Um, yeah. yeah, I mean, I went longer than I thought I was gonna go tonight. Yep. Yeah. Um, thanks everybody for being here. We had a lot of fun. Um, next week is Good Friday. So, oh yeah. Um, this wouldn't be back next week, but the uh, trivia show on on Tong Habs might. I don't know if we're going to do it or not. Um, but this will be back in two weeks to do another Q and A. Uh, Friday night. Uh, what else? I guess I I told you what what's up for the rest of the <laughs> next four days. All right. Yeah. So uh, thanks everybody for being here. I don't know how to end this. I don't know why. Um, yeah, uh, just uh, have a great night. It is uh, Friday night, so uh, yeah, you can stay up late and party and do everything. Yeah. Um, and that's it. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, no, Aiken, we're done here. Uh, thanks, for, <laughs> thanks for watching. Stay safe till next time, and peace out, and all that good stuff. And I don't know what I'm saying at this point. So, but have a good night, everybody. And, go Habs, uh, go. Stick on the ice and go. Well, for me, Habs, go. <laughs> <I don't laughs> but go whoever your team is. I don't know. I think I'm getting a cold and I am. I don't know. <laughs> Matt, we're leaving, Matt. Later, peeps. Yeah. Thank you, guys. You go. At least we got a few words out of Matt. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao. It was a really bad ending. Yeah, it was. <laughs>